picture in your mind a mother of the year. This mother of the year has been misunderstood. Just like they call, I guess, white women who act up, they call them Karens. Well, we'll start calling the black women who act up Keisha's. Now, her name is technically not Keisha. It's something like Kiara Garrett, 37 years of age. I want to put in for mother of the year. She called a Lyft driver and told the Lyft driver that she needed to go pick up uh, her son. Or she was on her way to a second set of apartments where she resided at. But she needed to stop by uh, another location in order to pick up her son. And I do believe her son was over at the Lynn Hirsch apartments playing a little basketball. They're playing basketball. We love the basketball. And when she, the, the, the Lyft driver pulled up to pick up her, Son, I believe he's 11 or 12 or, or whatever. Given says she picked up a woman and her daughter around 5 p.m. at the Lynnhurst Park Apartments. The woman asked Givens to drive to the back of the complex to pick up her son. Given says several children were hanging out here around the basketball court when the woman in her passenger seat pulled out a gun, stuck her arm out the window, and fired shots. Given says the woman's son got in the car, neighbors came out, and someone called police decided to pull her uh, pistol and uh, put it out the window and do a bang bang. S something to the effect, you're not going to do my son like that. Son gets in the car, she starts pistol whipping her son, beating the hell out of him or something to that effect. The Lyft driver thought she was going to get on her phone and call 911, but uh, this Keisha uh, decided that you won't be calling. 911, or I will just unalive you right here and right now. Take me over to 85th apartment or something like that. I think it's 8520 apartments where she resides at. She actually got the Lyft driver to drop off of these apartments. Now, I'm sure this is a misunderstanding. So I like to hear what the Lyft driver has to say about this before we go any further. One is accused of holding a Lyft driver at gunpoint Saturday after firing shots out of the car window, sending children running. CBS 4 Scarlett O'Hara talked to the driver about that experience and explains what police say drivers can do to protect themselves. On Saturday evening, a Lyft driver picked up a passenger and her daughter at an apartment in this neighborhood. She says what happened after that, though, brought to life a fear shared by many rideshare drivers. I literally thought I was going to die. Catherine Givens was asked to make a quick stop at a basketball court so the passenger could pick up her 12-year-old son. Once there, the rider rolled down the window, pulled out a gun, and started firing shots. Obviously, all the kids started running. Parents came flooding out of the apartments. Givens recalls one parent saying they called 911, and the passenger, identified by police as Kira Garrett, yelling back that she'd shoot them. That's when she realized that the police were already in the apartment complex and she turned her gun on me and said, you know, if you don't, you don't leave, I'm going to kill you. So Given spent the 25 minute drive to Garrett's destination with a gun pressed to her stomach. It's very scary. You know, her kids were in the back seat. She was beating on her son in the back seat as well. After dropping Garrett and her children off at their home across town, she pulled into a nearby parking lot to call 911. This is clearly a case of misunderstanding. The Lyft driver has to be racist, trying to call the man on this uh, Keisha Queen. Uh, there's a misunderstanding because this queen would never do nothing like that. Let's call her Twerk Keisha. Or should we call her uh, Drop It Like It's Hot Keisha, Mother of the Year. So you could take the, the Keisha out the hood but you can't take the hood out the Keisha. That is a fact. But I do believe that this is a mis misunderstanding. What we need is more diversity. Maybe that the Lyft driver, she happens to be white, right? She didn't know the culture. This is her culture. Her culture is that you drive by, and when there's a bunch of kids out there, which 
your son because technically when you have the left, the liberals, they say you don't know how to act anyway. But I believe the governor of New York says that uh, you don't know what a computer is. What black kids don't know what a computer is. Does Keisha know what a computer is? Maybe this is our culture because they keep telling you about their culture. Your culture says that when you go and there's a bunch of teenagers out here shooting, you pull out your weapon and discharge it in the air. When your son gets in the back seat, you teach him a little culture by beating the hell out of him. Then you tell the Lyft driver, you don't want none of this action. I'm so hood. You better take me where I want to go. Are you going to be next? I will unalive you if you don't take me where I want to go. Now they saying some charges is coming forward. Could we get the Al Sharpton crew in here? Could we get Black Lives Matter in here? Because evidently they're not understanding their culture. This is how they say hello in their culture. Bang a bang a bang. Keisha says that I'm not having this. Now they say that she's facing a level three felony, intimidation, a level five felony, criminal recklessness, and a level six felony, and pointing a firearm. I love a six felony racism. This is pure racism because you don't understand her culture. She's she should get a reward, mother. So many apartments, doctors' apartment jobs that I have lost due to the buses, and they said this year was supposed to be a totally different change. I don't see what a change is at. We have to sit out here and wait a long periodically time. The buses are nasty. The buses are filthy. The buses is not new. Because this is the way you teach and train your chill children in the concrete jungle. This is clearly a misunderstanding. The Lyft driver has gotten this all wrong. She don't understand the culture. Maybe the Lyft driver is racist. I think we should charge the Lyft driver with a crime because it's obvious that this, this black queen could not possibly be doing anything wrong. I don't see where she did anything. She called for a Lyft. Lyft gets there. She said, I need to go pick up my son. From the basketball court. Then she had to show a fool what time it is. I dare you disrespect me like this. That pretty principle. Now they said when the cops came back to find her, the driver, the Lyft driver, who's racist by the way, because you know all whites are racist. And so when the Lyft driver came, when they, when the Lyft driver talked to the police officer, they said she had a limp. See, that's the gangster limp. She was walking like a pimp. And they said they knew she had a game. And then they got a search warrant, went in her house, and they found the pistol. Racism. We need to get, what's that other f fella name? Crump or something like that. We need to get him on this case. This is a clear cut of racism. She should actually get a reward for showing her children how to be hood. Twerk Keisha. Drop it like a hot Keisha. Bum Keisha. Whatever Keisha you want to call her. The Lyft driver, as a matter of fact, she have to pay her restitution. This is reparations, technically speaking. I don't understand why anybody should be upset about this. She needed to get picked up at Lynn Dur uh, Hearst apartment. She needed to go over to 85th 20 apartments where she resides at. But I was going to get in there and do a little cooking or something right there. But this is clearly a case of misunderstanding. They arrested her for what? How's she going to get her award for Mother of the Year? I'm telling you what it is. It's this systemic racism that made her do this. It wasn't for systemic racism because, as you know, that these Keishas and these these little, little Tyrones are the ones that are not doing these crimes. So we got to see where we can find a talking point to make sure we know that Keisha did not do anything wrong. And I don't want anybody bad mouthing Keisha. This is a technically a misunderstanding. Now, I think a Lyft spokesman released a statement that says safety is fundamentally fundamental to Lyft. And the behavior described is reprehensible and has no place in the Lyft community or society. Really? Do you are you a liberal because y'all promote this trash? They commit crimes, you let them out of jail. So we have permanently removed the rider from Lyft community. Really? Really? You remove it up here. That settles that. I think the Lyft driver may be going to sue somebody. 
He contacted the driver to after the the, uh, the to to offer support. What kind of support can you offer to the driver? It's a little too late for that. Maybe we should start investigating Keisha before they get an account. But anyway, all is well now. There was a mix up about the culture and all that right there. Keisha's okay, and she's willing to come out and get her trophy for Mother of the Year. Toward Keisha, you go, girl.